What is going on guys? Bobby here and I don't know if you guys can tell from my voice but I am super 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 excited and I just made it to Italy. So alongside my teammates OG and Alec we just played it we just finished up the first stages of the qualifier and so basically this is a big tournament that's taking place in Italy with the grand prize. I think the total amount is 50,000 euros. So myself, OG, and Alec, you know, we've won a bunch of tournaments before together, and, you know, we signed up for this one, and we, we're really, really excited. We had an extremely, extremely hard matchup today against Miguelon, Daddy Squashy, and Zar, who was on my channel yesterday. Legit three god-tier players. It was such a crazy game that team's like a top-five team in the world, and, like, it's, it's so unfortunate that we had to face them so early on in the tourney. I wish it was seeding based off, like, wins or trophies or something like that. It's so unfortunate how we had to face them and one of us was going to be eliminated and not end up making it to Italy, even though we both definitely deserve it. So I'm going to show you guys three games on three different maps that we played. So basically how this tournament worked was you play three different gem grab maps, and it's the first one to get to three wins so the first one to get three wins on a map gets one point and you have to get two points total to win so that being said i'm going to show one game on every single map i'm going to tell you guys where we won tell you guys where we lost and that's about it so let's hop into the first game okay guys so this is our second game so we're, we're up one nothing in the set so far now this is the first time watching it since i played it and this is about half an hour 45 minutes ago on this map so I'm going to be basically watching live. So basically, what we want to do for this map is move up and start to hold position. Now, they have a very control-based comp. They have a double thrower and a penny. So you're going to see a lot of stuff being lobbed over walls. And that's actually a really good comp on this map. You know, I was practicing this map a bit yesterday, and I never really thought of double thrower. But as you guys can see, this, this map actually has cards, which is super unique, and I actually love the cards. And that actually makes the thrower super good because cards act as a wall. So basically, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be pulling people you know, Gene's actually pretty good against throwers because you can break the wall with the pole. You can charge your super pretty easily. OG's going to go down there to a cart. Alec is the legend at going down to carts. He goes down to a cart probably eight times in three games. He's an absolute god at it. But with that being said, we're up 6-2 so far. OG's just kind of chilling in the mid. I'm taking my time because I have all of our gems. I don't want to risk dying. We're going to move up. One of them just went down, so I'm starting to just splash them a little bit. You know, we're playing this super defensive. I see a cart coming and I again I don't want to risk it so I'm just gonna hide in here. I know I have Gene Super, I know they're afraid of the fact that I have Gene Super, so I'm chilling. You know, I did miss my super, but luckily for me there was enough time. I wanted to get it off before a team had like seven or so gems, just so that I could uh just so I can get it back before the game is close to being over. So OG using his super didn't hit anyone, but just the fact that he used his super pushed them back. And we just have me over here chipping. Daddy Squash, he kinda got stuck over there with the uh with the cart so you can see them kind of forced in the back left we're just chipping towards our super og with probably going to get him low like to be i'm surprised he didn't kill him but he got him super low and he he's got two gems i've got eight we got enough for countdown alec goes down to czar we're just healing over here at the bottom the cart slowed them up and actually like didn't let them pass for a good five seconds czar is coming in alec's going to be able to take him out i'm going to miss another pull there this wasn't one of my greatest games but there's a little bit of a bug where we can't spectate all of them, so I have to show this one. And that's going to be the win in the second map. You know, OG got star player. So basically, in this map, we won 3-0. So we got our first point on this map, and then we moved on to the second map. Let's get into that game. So basically, what happened is, over here, we actually did take an L in this set. So I wanted to show a game that we lost. We lost this 3-1. to Again, there's a spectate glitch, so I don't know exactly which one I'm spectating, but basically on this map, this is definitely the dominant comp. You know, Carl is super good here, Gene is super good here, and right now, it's basically a poke battle at the start. You know, my first game on this map was actually the best game I think I played in the entire tournament so far, but you know, I want to show the losing one because I wanted to show you guys basically what happened and give you guys like a quick recap sort of. So, you know, we're just chilling over here with Alec, and I went over here and I started to hit Zara. Zara didn't know I was right beside him. You know, I went down, but I did charge my super, and that's basically all you need with a Gene. Now, this is, again, not one of my greatest games, so don't expect anything huge here. But Alex is going to be chipped by Daddy Squashy, who's playing a really good Gene so far. I'm going to go over here to help with win a lane. You know, we didn't, we didn't have a lane, uh, lane one yet. You know, I pulled Daddy Squashy over there. We got the pull. We were able to take him out. And at this point, you know, we're in a pretty good position. Then Zar has this really, really good super. He's going to get OG really low, Alec really low. Alex going to suck, get the gems. Then you see Daddy Squashy coming back. He has his, uh, he has his pull. You know, at this point, we're actually kind of confident. We didn't know that Daddy Squashy had his pull, though. 
he missed his pull on me so we're like okay i'm closer to pull we have more gems you know we're doing really well right there i missed such an easy pull that was like the easiest pull of the entire tournament that i've had and i missed it if we had that we would have won the map that would have been a gg right there not not the map sorry this game and we would have been up i think 2-0 yeah we would have been up 2-0 if i just hit that it was pretty bad og kind of wasted his super over there because miguel on was able to get him with the suck we're going to get real close to Zara over here. And then Alec, unfortunately, is going to be pulled by Daddy Squashy. Good pull by him. He's going to be able to get the gems. And we're just trying to stay alive over here. Because basically the only way we live or we win this game is if I get my gene pull off. So we're going up. The only way I could stay alive was if I canceled Zara with my gene pull. So we had to use it. Alec's going to go up. He's going to try supering. But it's not going to work out. And we're going to lose this map. So we lost this set 3-1. to one. This brings it to 1-1 and into the final game or the final set of the best of three. And this was super, super scary because they got to choose the map for the last one. And we're freaking out. You know, we're just getting off a loss. But a good thing about our team is we, we know how good we are. We know that we can win any game. So we kind of, although we're all like kind of freaking out and like playing through things in our head, we're chilling there. We're quiet. Only positive momentum. Only saying positive things to each other. And it really helps us as a team, you know, not fighting, not blaming anyone. We're just saying we got this. We know we're going to win and go into it. So I'm going to show you guys the very, very last game that we played. Let's hop into that one real quick and, you know, let's just get into it. So unfortunately, I couldn't show you guys the last one because the thing wasn't working. This is killing me. I don't know why it's not working. But what we do get to show you is our second last game. So we won this set three to nothing, which this is what sent us to Italy. Now, this map is super crazy. You know, we're running mirror comps again it's actually super cool how you see us picking up on the new meta so quickly which is amazing about pro players you know we barely played the game it's been one day since the new balance changes and you can already see the different meta and brawlers that we're playing you know without even playing on the map we already had the same train of thought now you have miguel on over there as the mid i'm going to help alec out a little bit on the sides this map is super scary because you basically hide in the bushes and like as a mid you just hide in like these bushes over here and it's only two tiles long so it's really easy for a gene to pull so me and miguel on are playing really really safe you can see alec going up really well alec's gonna be able to kill daddy squashy miguel on's right there he's gonna be able to two tap alec i know has he has a super and he's trying to use it so i'm just gonna back up take care of that bear not go for any fancy plays just gonna hide in the bush over here zara and og have been going at it with that <laughs> with that carl 1v1 it's pretty crazy um, at this point, we're kind of just communicating. I'm not trying to rush anything. We're talking about how we want to pull a lane because Miguel on is playing really safe and I, I won't be able to pull him. I knew Zar was in that grass, so I'm going to be going for Zar right over there. We're going to be able to pull Zar. I'm going to hit him three times, which allows us to charge our super almost back again. We have OG with a lane one. OG probably, he would probably get close, but he wouldn't have been able to win that lane since it's just constant battles of like, it's just no one's gonna win that so he did get pulled OG's or Alec got pulled OG was able to pick up the gems and walk away Zara is pretty low OG was able to finish him off over there I'm gonna go I'm gonna flash my super I wasn't planning on using it yet just because Miguelon was playing defensive I was likely gonna miss Miguelon thought I was gonna go for that gem I baited it I didn't end up going for it just gonna pull squashy close to me because I know we're gonna be able to take him out now, we, we, that was the funny thing. I thought we were going to be able to take him out, but we actually weren't able to. They see Miguel on his low, Squashy is low. All they have to do is kill us one singular time, and then it would get the reset. But, you know, me and OG were at the very back of the map. You know, we're pretty tanky. I'm basically holding my super to try and hit Zara. I don't really care about anything else. I missed Zara, but OG was able to take care of him. And that is going to be it. That's going to be the final, well, the second final game, but that's going to be the final game on the video and the, the final map that we played and what sent us to Italy. So that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, this is a really, really good team. So it was an honor facing them so early and I don't want to say beating them, but, you know, beating them. It was an honor to do that. You know, it was super fun. I love all the players that we played with. And, uh, and yeah, that's about it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. I'm definitely going to try and get some cool videos down when in Italy because there's going to be a lot of pro players there. There's going to be a lot of YouTubers. So hopefully I can do something really fun in Italy. But with that being said, if you have any ideas about that, drop it in the comments below. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this pro gameplay and seeing how I and my team got to Italy. And yeah, that's going to be it. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. I will see you later.